While both Iran and Russia have often been labeled as anti-Israel, it is important to question whether this justifies the United States' ongoing military aid to Israel. Although Iran and Russia have expressed their disapproval of Israel's actions, they have not taken steps that could further escalate the conflict. In fact, their approach appears to be influenced by China, which has advised against actions that could worsen the situation. As a result, Iran and Russia seem to be actively seeking a peaceful resolution in contrast to the United States. China's role in these dynamics is significant, but it raises the question of how China manages to prevent Russia and Iran from taking provocative actions. In this episode, we will explore China's growing influence, innovation stories, and projects around the world. If you are new to our channel and are fascinated by the rapid modernization and development in China, you will find our video intriguing. In this particular video, we will delve into the factors contributing to the escalation of the conflict and examine the genuine roles played by Russia and Iran, free from the influence of U.S. propaganda. The ultimate goal is to determine whether the Western approach is indeed causing complications. So let's take you through the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas in the Middle East, which has drawn the involvement of various international players, including Russia and Iran. While these two countries have been accused of supporting Hamas and its affiliates, it is crucial to understand that the situation is far from straightforward. Russia has faced allegations of supporting Iran-backed militias in Syria, which have moved closer to the Israeli border, leading to increased Israeli strikes in the region. These accusations stem from Russia's military involvement in Syria, where it has provided support to the Syrian government in its fight against various opposition groups. One of the key concerns is Russia's alleged indirect support for Hamas, as well as using state and social media to undermine Israel and the United States. However, it is important to note that these claims are largely speculative and part of the broader information warfare in the digital realm. Some argue that the West needed a powerful entity to blame and thus targeted Russia to magnify the conflict. Despite these accusations, it is crucial to recognize that Russia also maintains significant ties with Israel. Under President Putin's diplomacy, Russia has consistently aimed to balance between conflicting players in the Middle East. This pragmatic approach reflects Russia's value for its relationships with Israel and various Arab states while engaging with Iran and its allies. Similarly, Iran has a long-standing history of providing logistical and military support to Hamas and other proxy groups aligned with its anti-Israeli stance. According to the West, Iran sees Hamas as part of its anti-Israeli alliance, resulting in financial aid, weapons, and training being provided. However, it is worth mentioning that the West often overlooks the military aid the U.S. provides to Israel, which also contributes to the ongoing conflict. Additionally, the Ukrainian president has accused Russia, along with Iran and North Korea, of sponsoring Hamas attacks on Israel. However, it is essential to consider these allegations within the broader context of international relations and geopolitical complexities. Such claims can be influenced by various factors, including political considerations, regional rivalries, and international alliances. Russia's involvement in the Israel-Hamas conflict highlights its ability to navigate the delicate balance between conflicting interests. It showcases the complexities of the situation and the multifaceted dynamics at play in the Middle East. The Middle East is a region known for its intricate power dynamics, and Russia has managed to maintain connections with both Israel and Iran, despite their opposing stances. This ability to balance relationships is not a recent development, but has been a characteristic of Russian diplomacy in the Middle East for many years. Russia's approach in the region is guided by its own national interests, which include promoting stability, countering terrorism, and forging economic and military partnerships. This pragmatic approach allows Russia to engage with various actors in the Middle East, regardless of their ideological or political differences. Now let's delve into the topic of Russia's stance towards Israel and whether it can be considered anti-Israel. But before we proceed, we would like to ask if you are enjoying the video. If you are, please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel for more insightful content on China's development, power, and global influence.
Moving forward with our discussion, the relationship between Russia and Israel has undergone transformations and complexities over the years, influenced by historical events, political leadership, and global dynamics. During the Cold War era, there was intense political rivalry and the Soviet Union stood as a staunch supporter of the Palestinians and other Arab allies in their conflict against Israel. The Soviet Union not only provided military assistance but also offered political support to these nations. This stance naturally created a turbulent relationship with Israel, driven by ideological and geopolitical considerations of that time. Therefore, it would be inaccurate to claim that Russia supports Palestine solely to oppose the West, as Russia has been supporting Palestine for a considerable period. Please continue watching the video as we explore further details and insights into Russia's position in the Middle East and its relationship with Israel. The dissolution of the Soviet Union marked a significant turning point that influenced the relationship between Russia and Israel. This transformation was driven by various factors, including changes in political leadership in both countries. With the ascent of Vladimir Putin in Russia and Ariel Sharon in Israel, a shift towards more pro-Israel views became evident. This change in leadership played a crucial role in improving bilateral relations between the two nations. Vladimir Putin, in particular, played a significant role in shaping Russia's approach to Israel. He established a close relationship with Israel's prime minister at the time, Benjamin Netanyahu. In fact, in March 2016, Putin went as far as describing the relationship between Russia and Israel as special, built on friendship, mutual understanding, and a shared history. The improved relations between Russia and Israel coincided with the formation of broader alliances that extended beyond bilateral ties. Russia, Israel, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and the United Arab Emirates found common ground in their concerns about regional extremism, which further strengthened their bonds. This alliance added a new dimension to Russia's engagement with Israel. Additionally, Russia viewed the one million Russian-speaking residents in Israel as part of the Russian diaspora, considering them a significant asset in terms of foreign policy. However, this newfound closeness also presented its own set of challenges. The intertwining of Russian and Israeli politics created complexities that further solidified the relationship between the two nations. Israel's approach to Russia played a notable role in this shift. Please continue watching the video as we move deeper into the evolving dynamics between Russia and Israel, exploring the implications and complexities that have emerged in their relationship. Unlike many Western countries, Israel has maintained diplomatic relations with Russia, refrained from imposing sanctions on Russia, and rejected calls to supply defensive weapons to Ukraine. This reflects Israel's unique geopolitical considerations, which differ from the positions adopted by Western nations. Given Israel's ties with Russia, it becomes challenging for Russia to openly support Palestine or take a strong stance against Israel. The complexities of the relationship between Russia and Israel make it unlikely for Russia to actively support Hamas in attacking Israel. Now let's delve into why Russia supports Palestine. It's important to note that supporting Palestine is not exclusive to Russia, but is also endorsed by China and Iran. To understand the reasons behind their support and the extent of that support, we need to consider the broader context of their stance towards Israel. Moving on to Iran's relationship with Israel, it has followed a complex and ever-changing path. These two nations have experienced different phases in their relationship, ranging from cooperation to enmity. In the early years, Iran-Israel relations were characterized by uncertainty. In 1947, Iran became the second Muslim-majority country, after Turkey, to officially recognize Israel as a sovereign state, indicating a level of diplomatic engagement. However, a significant turning point occurred in 1953 with the coup d'etat that reinstated Mohammad Reza Pahlavi as the pro-Western Shah of Iran. This event had a profound impact on the Iran-Israel relationship. As the Shah regained power, relations between the two nations significantly improved. During this period, Israel emerged as a major oil provider for Iran, and the two countries engaged in extensive military and security cooperation.
Please continue watching the video as we explore further details and insights into the evolving dynamics of Iran-Israel relations and the complexities of Russia's support for Palestine. From 1953 to the end of the year, there was a period of warmth and strategic alliance between Iran and Israel. During this time, both countries had close ties with the United States and shared a common goal of countering Soviet influence in the region. Iran and Israel enjoyed a strong partnership, with Iran becoming the largest importer of Israeli arms. Their collaboration extended beyond defense, as oil flowed from Iran to Israel, indicating a significant economic connection. The establishment of an Israeli diplomatic mission in Tehran further emphasized the friendly relations between the two nations. For three decades, starting from 1948 to 1978, Iran and Israel maintained robust and harmonious relations. However, this phase of cooperation took a dramatic turn with the Islamic Revolution in 1979. Following the revolution, Iran completely severed all diplomatic and commercial ties with Israel. The new theocratic government in Iran did not recognize Israel's legitimacy as a state. Instead, Iran viewed Israel as an occupier of lands that held deep religious significance for Muslims, lands that had historically been governed by Muslims. Moreover, Iran actively embraced the Palestinian cause, positioning itself as a champion for Palestinian rights. This move aimed to strengthen Iran's revolutionary credentials, not only among Arab nations, but also within the broader Muslim world. Iranian leaders portrayed the conflict in the Middle East not merely as a political dispute, but as a religious crusade, framing it as a struggle between Islam and non-Islam. Iran's involvement in Lebanon and its moral, political, and logistical support for Palestinian movements like Hamas further deepened its involvement in the Arab-Israeli conflict. Please continue watching the video as we delve deeper into the evolving dynamics of Iran-Israel relations and the factors that have shaped their complex relationship over the years. In the ongoing proxy conflict between Iran and Israel, which has significantly impacted the Middle East's geopolitics since 1985, Iran has emerged as a vocal advocate for Palestinian self-determination. This conflict has taken various forms, including direct military confrontations and support for opposing factions in conflicts such as the 2006 Lebanon War, Syria, and Yemen. While Russia has maintained good relations with Israel and Iran has consistently opposed Israel, these three nations have recently found common ground in their pursuit of a peaceful resolution to the long-standing conflict. This shift in dynamics can be attributed to China's role and its emphasis on a balanced approach. China has played a crucial role in bringing Russia, Iran, and Israel together and encouraging them to adopt a more neutral stance. China's approach prioritizes diplomacy and peace, avoiding taking sides and instead focusing on finding a solution that benefits all parties involved. This balanced approach has resonated with Russia, Iran, and even Israel, as they recognize the importance of finding a comprehensive solution that brings lasting peace to the region. Rather than aligning with either Israel or Palestine, these nations are committed to finding a resolution that breaks the cycle of polarization and conflict. A central pillar of their efforts is the belief in a two-nation solution, which entails the establishment of two independent and sovereign states coexisting peacefully. This approach has gained traction as a potential way to address the deep-rooted issues that have plagued the region for decades. As these countries work towards a solution, their collaboration represents a departure from traditional alliances and reflects a shared goal of achieving lasting peace. By emphasizing diplomacy and a balanced approach, they aim to transcend historical divisions and forge a path towards a more stable and harmonious future for Israel and Palestine. Please continue watching the video as we explore the evolving dynamics of this collaboration and the potential implications for the Israel-Palestine conflict. One remarkable aspect of the collaborative effort between China, Russia, and Iran is their willingness not to exclusively support either Israel or Palestine. Instead, they are focused on finding a solution that transcends divisions and brings about peace in the Middle East. China's role in promoting the two-nation solution has been crucial, as it emphasizes the importance of a balanced approach and encourages all parties to work towards a comprehensive resolution.
By considering the interests of all stakeholders, this diplomatic effort offers hope for a lasting resolution. However, Western countries, particularly the United States, have raised concerns and made allegations against China, Russia, and Iran, accusing them of wanting to escalate the conflict. The U.S. has been criticized for its support of Israel, which some argue prolongs the conflict, citing financial and military aid as examples. In contrast, China, Russia, and Iran maintain that their primary objective is not to exacerbate the conflict, but to find a peaceful resolution. They have refrained from openly supporting Palestine, fearing that such assistance could escalate the situation and prolong hostilities. Instead, their focus has been on promoting diplomacy and negotiation as the means to achieve a comprehensive solution. The Israel-Palestine conflict is highly complex, with various geopolitical interests at play. Accusations and counter-accusations are common in the discourse surrounding this issue. It is important to recognize that different nations have their own strategic considerations and perspectives. As the collaborative efforts of China, Russia, and Iran continue, the hope is that their commitment to a balanced approach and peaceful resolution will contribute to breaking the cycle of violence and lead to a more stable and harmonious future in the region. Please continue watching the video as we delve deeper into the complexities of the Israel-Palestine conflict and the ongoing diplomatic efforts to find a comprehensive solution. China, Russia, and Iran are pursuing an approach that promotes dialogue and negotiation in the Israel-Palestine conflict without overtly supporting Palestine. They believe that this approach offers the best chance for a lasting peace agreement in the region. The involvement of Western nations, particularly the United States, in providing aid and support to Israel has come under scrutiny. Critics argue that this aid only escalates the conflict and that the West should be held accountable for its involvement. Western countries have long-standing alliances with Israel, providing military aid, financial support, and diplomatic backing. However, this support is seen as perpetuating the conflict by enhancing Israel's military capabilities and emboldening its stance against Hamas. While the West criticizes nations like China, Russia, and Iran, it is important for Western nations to engage in self-reflection and recognize the far-reaching consequences of their interventions and policies in shaping global affairs. Taking responsibility for their role in contributing to complexity is crucial for fostering more constructive international relations. It is worth considering whether the West should refrain from spreading rumors about Russia and Iran's involvement in the conflict, and whether the West may indeed be responsible for exacerbating the war. Addressing these ethical concerns could pave the way for more effective and cooperative approaches to addressing the challenges of the 21st century. We appreciate your engagement and welcome your opinions. Please share your thoughts in the comment section. Should the West cease these unethical actions? Would you like to watch more videos like this one? If so, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for exclusive content on China's development and global influence. Remember, we are Think Rich Africa, and we serve valuable content in the most exciting ways. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for our next video.